Hello and welcome to Healing Womanhood. I'm Saffron and this series is called Safe. So it's all about generating a feeling of safety in your body, in your life and in your home. So often when we've experienced trauma we don't have that feeling of safety and when we start to process our trauma the beginning of that is generating a feeling of safety. So that's how we begin our trauma work. So these videos are really good to prepare you for therapy. Today our focus is going to be on feeling protected. So often we talk about our inner protector as the part that might sabotage things, the part that's kind of trying to help but often gets in the way of things. Today we're going to look at it a little bit differently. We're going to begin in this first video by revisiting a time in our past when we could have done with some protection and we didn't get it. So we're going to become the protector and go back and support that part of us. Then in our second video, which is exclusive to Patreon members, we're going to do a meditation where we visualise the protector that we want in our lives, a protector that can really serve us. So if you're not yet a Patreon member, do head on over there. It's only £5 a month um, and there's some really great stuff, some really deep healing and it's very worthwhile having. So have a look and see what you think. The link is in the description. So beginning with our tapping and if you want to take this really easy and go back to a time that wasn't hugely traumatic then that might be a really nice thing to do if you're feeling ready to dive into something bigger just make sure that you're emotionally safe that you've got some support around you to do that and um, so we want to go back to a time when we would have liked some protection when we deserved and needed some protection and we didn't get it so it can be an inner child thing, it can be an inner teenager, it can be you as a young woman, it can be you last week. It doesn't have to be a long, long time ago. The further back we go, generally the deeper we're getting into our healing. Um, but there's absolutely no need to, to go super deep unless you want to today. So if you need to pause the video to think of your time, you can do that. And when you're ready, all you need to do is tap where I'm tapping and repeat what I'm saying. Even though I really needed someone to protect me. And that didn't happen. And there's a part of me that's blaming myself. I accept all of that. And I love and accept me anyway. Even though I really needed some protection. And I deserved some protection. And I was only little. Bless you, Lord. That's fine. And I choose to love and accept all of me. Exactly as I am. Even though this younger version of me went through some terrible things without the protection of a caregiver, without being looked after. That's okay. And it's not okay. And I choose to love and accept all of myself through all of these mixed feelings. Some terrible things happened. Things that were really difficult for that younger version of me. She wanted some protection. She needed some protection. That younger version deserved to be protected. And that's not what happened. And she's got a lot of feelings about that. 
sadness, fear, confusion, self-doubt. All of these feelings, all of these great big feelings, and nowhere to go with them. And I'm ready to hold a space for that now. All of this sadness around not being protected. I knew that I deserved to be protected. And I didn't get that. All of this fear. Knowing that there was no one to protect me. Nobody keeping me safe. I didn't feel safe in my life. And maybe a part of me still doesn't. All of this confusion. Why did nobody protect me from this? If I'm worthy and deserving of protection, Worthy and deserving of feeling safe. Why did nobody protect me? All of this self-doubt. Is it because I'm not good enough? Is it because I didn't deserve to be protected after all? Is there something wrong with me? Making space for that part to express those feelings. This part feels that there must be something wrong with her. To have not been protected. And I've carried that feeling for a long, long time. This my fault feeling. It must have been my fault. Otherwise I would have been protected. And I wonder if that's really true. I wonder if I can start to recognise now that this was never my failing. That this was a failing outside of me. Not my fault. I was only a child. I was innocent in all of this. So I'm ready to begin to release this self-doubt now. And bring in what that part of me needed. That part of me needed protection. And I'm ready to be that protection now. Imagining my child self. Back in that situation.
What did she need back then? What would have helped her to feel safe? And allowing my adult self to become that thing. Seeing myself enter that situation as a strong adult protector. Ready to stand between that child and that danger. Ready to keep her safe. Feeling my own strength, my own courage and confidence, being everything that that child needed, allowing my child self to feel safe as she always should have. Giving my child self what she needed and deserved. Sending so much love to that version of me. Sending so much love to my child self. None of this was ever your fault. You'll never be alone with this again. I am here for you now. You are protected. You are held and you are safe. I am always here for you. I love every part of you. You are so, so loved. And so protected. You're safe to be a child. Because I am right here. I hope that felt really powerful for you. It did for me, even guiding it. So I hope that it went really deep into healing those wounds and making that inner child feel safe. If you'd like to join us for part two, you would be really, really welcome. If you'd like to leave any questions, comments, feedback, please do that too. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.